today we are going to have our third video discussion, video discussion number three, to uh, discuss about our second uh, section in our newspaper, which is health. Uh, my name is Syed Amira Arif Alidrus, matrix number 202407. Alright, my name is Muhammad Amir Musaki bin Bakri and my matrix number is 202334. Hello. Hello. Uh, so my name is Ahmad Safiuddin bin Sahir and my matrix number is 193045. Hi, good evening. My name is Amir Aiman Rakim bin Muhammad Alias. My metric number is 192527. Hi, my name is Muhammad Aiman bin Muhammad Saleh. My metric number is 203802. Hi, my name is Nur Azia bin Tiong Fizi. My metric number is 193511. Hi, my name is Sarah Nadia and my metric number is 193628. Hi, I'm Ratna Fatina binti Mawad Basri, metric number 194408. Okay, that is uh, all for our group. So today, our newspaper section is about health. And one of the articles that I'm going to uh, share with you all is from The Guardian, which is a newspaper in, the, in Europe. And this is about uh, mental health. Okay, it's about a student... Uh, who is stuck inside lockdown, who says, uh, I just sat in my room all day, a lonely student seeks mental health support. This is due to because of, as you all know, it's a lockdown. It happens across the world. This is a, like a survey from uh, students all over different universities, as from uh, London, uh, Germany. Uh, as you can see, university students are struggling with loneliness and anxiety due to campus lockdown with the risk that their mental health will deteriorate further unless urgent action is taken. Counselors and charities are warning due to that a certain uh, hotline that they have set up is that uh, this phone hotline, almost 3,000 students uh, and 3,000 students volunteer to take care of this hotline have received over 1.6 million calls that they're complaining about their, uh, not complaining, to better phrase it, it's like they're struggling with uh, this uh, mental health as they are locked down away and they're studying online. So as you can see, this is an uh, article which I can relate as well as do we all, as we're all struggling with online learning. So I feel like we have to take care of our mental health and I feel like this article would be uh, very relative to all of our uh, newspaper readers. Yeah, I, uh, I agree right. with uh, this uh, story that you get this news uh, because uh, I think um, it should be put on our newspaper so that um, students outside that are the same uh, the same situation could notice about the hotline. That they're not alone, that they can reach out yeah. for help. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, I think it's a very interesting story. Uh -huh. yes? uh, I really like citing Said's uh, uh, story because um, I I found a news also related to uh, mental health, and it stated yeah. that the mental uh, many many people have have reported about their mental health during this uh, lockdown. And um, I think that this article must be included in our newspaper because it, we can increase the awareness about the mental health, especially uh, during this um, lock, lockdown. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Uh, may I suggest one more article that might interest you? Can, can, can. Sure. Yes, please. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. No worry, no worry. <laughs> All right, so there's this one article that I found online, uh, which is uh, from CNN, which is a very trusted news uh, yeah. source. So it is about this couple, uh, scientist couple, which named uh, scientists named Uyghur Sahin and also Oslam Turchi. Uh, actually, we've been having a lot of 
uh, negative news uh, throughout this pandemic. Since the beginning of it, we have, have been encountering like the cases are increasing more and more. There's no good news at all. So what about we insert this new, this positive uh, news that we'll be sharing, which is about these two scientists, which already found a vaccine. It's not yet uh, to be released, but it says that the vaccine they are going to do is already 90%. Uh, can be proven that uh, it can prevent uh, someone with that vaccine to be not infected by the COVID-19 virus. So it would be also interesting to put uh, this article inside our news because we've always known with this stereotype uh, saying that uh, scientists or doctors uh, being uh, a person who is very uh, angry all the time or doesn't like to talk to people a lot, but this uh, two scientists is very uh, positive person because uh, from the news, uh, reporters ask about uh, their from the other workers. Uh, they say that this both scientists is very humble person, is very uh, down to earth kind of person. They, they are a very rich person also, but uh, they don't use their money to uh, do, to have fun or just waste on something unrelated to uh, fundamental things. So they use their money to uh, like. Uh, they are di trying to research on the cancer uh, to cure co cancer and also they, that is why they are trying to also trying to find a cure or a vaccine to prevent this COVID-19 from becoming even more worse than it is already now. So I think it's a very good article to be put in our news so that we can at least boost up our uh, emotion or confidence regarding to this kind of pandemic we are going through so that we don't really think that or uh, should we, we, we don't have any, uh, what you call it, like opportunity to live our normal life again. Like we have no hope at all. But when we read these uh, articles, maybe someone will feel like, ah, oh, yes, uh, thank, thanks to these both scientists who are very brilliant, already found a cure to this uh, pandemic or this uh, COVID-19 virus. So I think that is a good article. So what about you guys? I yes. With what uh, Amin suggests just now, uh, because we are in the constant situation where we're in a puzzle, like we don't know what is happening with us right now. We don't know if the COVID-19 um, cure has been developed or not. So uh, having the news about the two scientists' life and like, how they develop the things, maybe we can have a little bit of input about our uh, cure for the COVID-19, right? Um, I think that is a very good news. I also want to suggest a news uh, from Healthline News. Uh, where uh, the headline news like um, stores a lot of news for the health related things uh, written by Anna Gother in 2017 and the title of the news was uh, Face Blindness Prosopagnosia um, and the face blindness is actually a condition uh, where uh, the sufferer could not recognize the face of the strangers uh, but it also um, becomes very severe that they cannot um, recognize the faces of their families or close friends. And in most like very, very severe cases, they cannot even recognize their own face, which is very dangerous like for us and for people. Also, they uh, also mentioned about uh, how the prosol magnusia happened. Uh, it is because of the brain abnormalities or impairment on the brain full name right Fusirus gyrus, um, in which the, I mean, I'm sorry, right fusiform gyrus, in which at the right fusiform gyrus is supposed to store the, um, our memory on people's facials as well as perception. But since they have problems on the brain fold at the right fusiform gyrus, so they cannot um, recognize the faces of people. Also, uh, the health news also mentioned about how to detect if you have faith blindness problems, you can do, um, test which is Benton Facial Recognition Test and Warrington Recognition Memory of Faces. Um, and just to mention here that the face blindness could not be treated, which is very bad, could not be treated. So they can only provide with coping mechanism. Like for example, you uh, remember how the way they talk, the, the voices, the bracelet that other one person usually wear, like something like that, but there's no cure for the face blindness. Yeah, what do you guys think about the topic? Interesting. 
that's something new that there are other uh, different kinds of uh, health problems around the world. So I feel like it's something new and interesting. So our readers could be interested to read that. Very good. Yeah, I agree on that because uh, we've been too focused on this one topic, which is the COVID-19 or this pandemic we are going through. So we forget that actually there is other mental health or other uh, sickness or diseases that we are looking, we are we forget to look into. So I think it's a very yes. good article to be into too. So yeah. Yeah, I agree. Perhaps other person have suggestion? So? Yes, uh, I have an uh, article uh, which uh, talks about uh, the similar problems that I said already talked, which is mental health. Uh, I don't know if it's a good thing or not because we have similar topics. But uh, the title of this article is about Take Care of Mental Health, Avoid Stigma. It was a statement from Health DG, our DG, Director General of Health, Datuk Dr. Nohisham Abdullah. Uh, so basically, these articles uh, uh, includes uh, a tips on how uh, a regular person, uh, when it comes to uh, facing people with mental health problem, such uh, mental health could be uh, a depression, anxiety, or even stress, and it could uh, lead to uh, severe uh, stages if not uh, being treated properly. So uh, in this article, uh, it uh, includes uh, tips, four, uh, four tips on how to uh, face this problem. So it, uh, it uses the technique uh, which called acronym from TALK, T-A-L-K. So the first step is, uh, which is the word T, is to tell someone who you trust about your problem. So basically, if you have a, a mental health disease problem, you're feeling like you have a, a severe depression, you must first tell somebody that you are trust, whether it be your family, your parents, or even your friends. Uh, the second uh, tip is, uh, which is the capital letter A, is ask for help. Okay, first you have uh, tell someone, then you have to ask for help and seek for help. You cannot just uh, keep it to yourself. You must ask for help, whether it be uh, a professional help from psychiatrist, the doctor, or even, uh, uh, or even, um, or even uh, lecture, our lecturer who have knowledge about this uh, mental health problem. Uh, and the third one is uh, the word L, which is uh, this implies for us uh, or every other listener, which is to listen without judgment. So we need to listen to uh, anybody who tells you about uh, they are facing this problem without judgment, without prejudice, and we must, we must listen to them carefully without being, uh, have a, this negative stigma about uh, this mental health is fake or what. Uh, so we must uh, face this issue with uh, professionalism. And the last word is the K, which is know where to seek for help. So sometimes when this uh, mental health uh, patient Seek for help. They are seek for with with the wrong uh the, with the wrong person, whether it be uh wrong friends who cannot uh, keep our secret, or even give a fake uh I mean uh, wrong advice, which could lead us to a uh worse worsening of the condition. Uh, so uh, that's all. The article also implies the uh, also included the hotline from uh health ministry, which is. Uh, which you can contact if you have this problem. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Any other, any other idea, different idea? I feel like that's a very good health? article. It's from our local doctors as well. So it's like, it's more helpful for us. So I feel like that's a very good article and it also relates to mine. So I think we can work from there because it's a similar article. So I feel that's a very good article. Good, good mental health is should, is a very big problem and one that should not have a stigma to it as like the article said, which I think is very good. Also, I would so, like to add a little bit more elaboration to it because um, I believe more people, like most people uh, has this mental health but it is undiagnosed. So they just think of it as some kind of stress but it's actually a depression or something like that. So by having this kind of 
news in our news publication, maybe we can help those people in need. True, yeah, true. I, I, I agree. agree with you. <laughs> I agree on that. So, uh, can I add uh, another idea? But before that, uh, how much uh, time that we have? Uh, it's okay. I think you can get. Oh, yeah, so you can go and continue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, I also have uh, another article. Uh, that we are uh, me and Ahmad found the articles uh talk about the effect of sleep uh the de deprivation of on your body is it deprivation or deprivation I'm so sorry deprivation deprivation, deprivation. 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 okay deprivation. so this article is uh medically reviewed by the Stacy Sampson uh do and written spells the space Stephanie Watson and Kristen Chani on May 15, 2020, uh, it say about the sleep deprivation is caused by the const the consistent lack of uh, sleep or reduced quality of sleep. And second one is during sleep, your body heals itself and restress its chemical balance. And without the enough sleep, uh, you, you will get the damage without your brain and body system won't function normally. So, uh, Ahmad can continue on the effects. Okay. Uh, sleep depression is uh, very, very dangerous because it can cause a mental health as well. Okay, that's the uh, thing that I want to highlight about this, about this effect. One of, one of it is a uh, central it effect to the central nervous system in our body. Uh, this uh, this sleep deprivation can disrupt how your body usually send and process information. If this if, if this was interrupted, uh, we can we cannot perform do our performance. Okay, next it uh, sleep deprivation can affect your immune system in your body such as uh, it can prevent your immune system to building building up its force so if you can if you don't sleep sleep uh, enough sleep you will get um, your immune system will get low okay and then next one is the uh, for digestive digestive system in your body your brain have some some sort of hormone that call leptin that tells you that you are not hungry if you less less sleep your brain will reduce the leptin that will cause that will make you feel hungry at night usually that's why at night we we will feel hungry because we don't we don't have in, enough sleep then other than that um less less sleep will make you feel too tired to exercise. So, uh, if you if you eat at night and then you do not exercise, then you will get overweight and obese. Okay. Lastly, I want to add up. Uh, the sleep deprivation is also affect your cardiovascular system, which means your heart. Sleep if sleep enough sleep affect the process that keep your heart and blood vessel healthy so if you don't do do not have enough sleep or quality of sleep it can interrupt this process so that you can have problem health problem at your lung your heart so that is very dangerous uh, yes. so get get enough sleep and it's very important and that's all for then, me uh, i and would then, like to add something uh why we choose this article to be uh to be one of the article for tonight discussion because it's quite related to us as a student because we really uh don't get enough uh sleep or rest and because of the all the works discussion but yeah i uh, we should think of ourselves uh and yeah love your body before it's not 
If not, we will uh, get the damage uh, either long term or in a short term damage just like uh, Ahmad says. Okay, uh, that's all from us. Yeah, that's pretty interesting too. Uh, and hmm. it related to Saiz and Ayman's uh, topic as well, right? Like it caused damages to our mental health, right? So yes. So that can be worked out too, to be put inside yeah. in one article. So it looks like we have a very limited time already, but perhaps uh, some of you wanted to give your uh, two cents regarding to the articles that we have presented before we go on to the voting. Uh, maybe Sarnadia or Ratna can uh, give your opinions. Uh, 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 for me, for me, I really like the those. There are three articles about um mental health, right? Sleep deprived, and then from Ayman and Said. I really like it because um in Malaysia they have recorded that more than four hundred thousand of Malaysian uh having problem with mental health. And since January until now, uh, there have been increment in, in, in suicide and people feeling suicide. To include the, uh, the mental health article because it's, we can increase the awareness about this, this matter. What about you right now? Uh, I'm interested in the news that Ayman approached. Uh, it, it is similar to, I mean, said it, it's all about mental problem, but for the news that Ayman approach is it provides the guidance as well uh, through the talk method, which uh, could help someone that could not reach help from the hospital uh, when they see those uh, method from, from the newspaper. Probably it could help them from there to avoid those mental issues, mental issues, yeah. Nice. Uh, but uh, I also like uh, Amin's article because I think it's going to be a hot topic because it's about um, vaccine of COVID-19, which many people have been waiting for vaccine, right? So I think uh, about mental health and Amin would be very interesting to put in our inside our newspaper so yeah. we can proceed to the voting uh, yes we can yes. Uh. okay uh, so just now we have a few from mental uh. health um face <laughs> blindness um and sleep deprived right is is that all i think so there yeah. are three Okay. Think so. Three of mental health, one face blindness, and one sleep deprivation. So uh, I think we should go with mental health first. Who votes for mental health since we need to pick two, right? Okay. Put your hands up for mental health. And I, I want the mental two. health from um, Ayman because in Ayman's article, there is also included the step to... Yeah. For, yes, I, yes, I, to I also agree with Ayman. So I... I'm interested in Ayman's article. Okay, all votes yes. for Ayman's uh, article. Um, and then, yep. Linus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, uh, last one is sleep with the price. Sleep, sleep important. <laughs> okay. And I don't get enough sleep, so. <laughs> I think we have our best two, which is Face blindness and mental health from Ayman? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, can we conclude this that we're going to put these two articles into our newspaper? Yes. Or there's yes. any objection? Yes. No, right? All right. So, say it. Oh. You do the honor, say it. To conclude. Okay. My internet is quite laggy, but I will try. So, that is all for our video discussion tree. We have chosen two articles uh, for our health section. So we will be back next week for our video discussion four, which is going to be on... Uh, technology? What was it again? Oh, technology. <laughs> technology. Technology, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so our four will be on today. So we will meet again next week. 
So that is all for video discussion three. Uh, thank you very much and see you next week. Okay, thank you so all right, much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. So Bye. 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 Bye.